what's going on everybody welcome back it's your boy calypso and in this video we're gonna be fragging margarionian uh, you guys can see it's growing out of hand already it's growing too much too much and it's time to frag it um, yesterday i was in reef girl on um, live stream we was talking about how to frag a gorgonian and i did frag mine already i got a piece right here that i frag and it's doing okay so I'm gonna proceed now and cut the other pieces that I wanna cut so I can make it, you know, just so the tank can look a little better because right now that growing that way is gonna cover the back and people are not gonna get to enjoy the back. Plus I got another coral in the back that I want to get more um, camera view from now on. So we'll see about that. But yeah, so I did learn how to frag a Gorgonian from watching Galeria Aquatica TV, which is another YouTube channel. So if you haven't, check them out. I suggest you guys go check them out. It's very fun to, um, the way they do things in the hobby. So go check them out and show some love and subscribe to this channel if you haven't. So you're gonna learn a lot from them. So yeah, so the pieces that I'm gonna be cutting out of here is this one right here. And then that one growing that way. And I think by me doing that, uh, the view is gonna open more and it's gonna look better. So let me show you guys the things that I'm gonna be using to frag the Gargonian. So things that you need, of course, a dip solution to help the coral heal faster. Two containers where I'm gonna be placing the Gargonian, gluing it, and then where I'm gonna dip it or vice versa. And a pair of gloves, a pipette, the glue and the bone cutters and I'm not gonna put it on a plug I like the natural look so I'm gonna put it on a rock they already put to the side right here and it's this one right here so when you're gonna put it on a rock I suggest you guys get a rock that has little holes little tiny holes where you could place on um, the gargonian in. you fill it up with glue and you go from there so I'm gonna place those pieces that I cut in separate holes, so in case in the future I need to cut it and sell a frag or um, swap a frag with somebody, um, I could give them a frag of the Gorgonian. So this is what I'm gonna be placing it. So let me cut the piece that I'm gonna need and fill these things up with water and we go from there, all right? So stay tuned. All right, so you guys ready? So let's start cutting. Like I say, I want this piece right here, so I'm going to cut it right here. Start cutting. Yep, so I got one. It's better if you do it on the water, that way you minimize the stress a little. I got one. And then the other piece. You see this two right here. You see this two here attached already, so I guess I gotta make two cuts. So I'm gonna cut right here. And right here. I'm gonna try to separate them and see if I'll be able to. Yep, I got it. So this is the other piece right here. And now look. Poor baby, she's stressed. So let me show you some things that you guys gotta do to make sure you glue the Gorgonian right and it survive, you know, cause you don't want the Gorgonian to die, so. Let me place the camera on the tripod and we go from there. So we got our piece of rock where we're gonna be placing the Gorgonian, it's this one right here. And one thing you gotta do to the Gorgonian, you gotta, in the inside, they got like a cartilage, if that's how you call it. It's like a flexible bone. And that you gotta exposure the cartilage out. So it'd be easy to attach, it's hard to see. But right in the middle of that, it's like a little black bone in there. So, 
I got a blade right here, uh, clean blade, and we're gonna get to exposure that so you guys can see. Let me see if I can make it happen. It look like a hair. I'm a barber, so I know what I'm looking for. And it's easy, it's, it's like you're gonna take out the flesh first before you even cut that piece, so. You guys can see right here, uh, let me see, focus. Oh, I can focus, let me get a flashlight. Maybe with a flashlight, you guys be able to see it. Let me put it back in the water. Got a flashlight right here. All right. So this is the first piece right here. And then if you guys can see right there, is the bone. So that's where, that's what you're gonna put inside the hole. Okay, so first things first, let's put some glue in the hole that I want. I'm gonna place it in this one right here. And it's okay if you take it out of the water, of course, you need to work with glue. So I want this one to face this way. And then we gotta push her this two right here. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna grab the blade and cut. Just take your time, no rush. But at the same time, try to do as fast as possible to minimize the stress. let me show you again that's what you're looking for yeah you guys can see look at the difference it's like a little bone that they got inside so this side is too long so let me cut it even with that one and then exposure the same amount of skin or bone So the difference, like Galera Aquatica says, they don't, they, it's not like a regular SPS or LPS coral that they throw some type of toxin out of their skin. This one just feel dry to the touch. Oh, they got separated. So even better. So now I got more frags. So. I got this long stick right here. It got separated from the other one. So now I can place it in different spots. So this one, let me see if I can get some glue in the other one. I got that one and then the last one I'm gonna place it in this big one right here right in the middle and that one I want to look like this and that's it and that's how you frag a gorgonia 
sorry. So, as you guys can see, it's placed on this rock. Uh, if the camera focus, there we go. So in the future, if I want to frag it, all I got to do is just cut this piece, leave that one in the middle, and then cut that piece, and somebody will have a nice piece of gorgonia. So now let me place them back in the water, and we go from there. So here they are, back in the tank. And it's to be expected for them to be a little stressed out, so don't worry about it. If, when you put them back in the water, they don't open right away, they're probably going to take few hours or a full day maybe a week who knows all depend how fast they start healing so I got this one right here and I took the advantage and cut one of the pieces out of the rock and placed it in this one right here but that's for another video <laughs> so there you guys have it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and how to frag your gorgonian and thank you Galeria Aquatica for showing me how because if I wouldn't watch you guys video I wouldn't know how, I was scared to frag a Gorgonian, so now I know. So for anybody else that wanna do it, go ahead, don't be scared, it's easy. All right guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I always say, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hasta la próxima, your boy Calizos out. See you guys, thanks for watching.